Today we are looking at the jump strategy, specifically looking at the jump strategy on a number line. So we are learning to solve addition and subtraction problems using the jump strategy. And I am successful when I can partition numbers into standard and non-standard forms. I can start with the largest number and I can show my learning on a number line. Now, to be successful, you also have to understand some of the things in the success criteria. So when you partition numbers, if I have the number 796, the standard form of partitioning this number is 700 plus, plus 90 plus 6. So that is the standard form. The non-standard form of this 796 would be, for example, 700 plus 96. We can also say 790 plus 6. They're two different standard, non-standard forms of this number. So let's start off with an easy equation, addition problem for the jump strategy. If I say 58 plus 27. If we go back to our success criteria, we need to partition this number into a standard form. So I will say 58, I will keep the same, plus 20, plus 7. I am partitioning the 27 into a standard form. If I have a number line, I do not need to start from 0. I can start from 58. If I add 20... So 58 plus 20 it would make 78. I could then add 7. 78 plus 7 equals 85. That is one way I could show this particular equation on number line. If you find it difficult to add 20 and then add 7, I have the same number line. I start with 58. I can partition this even further. So instead of 20, I can say 10 plus 10, which means the first jump lands on 68 and the second jump lands on 78. I can then break the 7 into 1. So I go 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. That's seven jumps, and they are all plus ones. If we move to a more difficult number, I might have 256 plus. 617. These numbers are quite large, they're three digit numbers. To make it easier to work out this problem, I'm going to start off with 617 and partition 256. I'm going to partition that into 200 plus 50 plus 6. I'll now draw my number line and I'll start with 617. My first jump is adding 200. So my answer, or my, my first jump will land on 817. My next jump is adding 50. So I will land on 867. My final jump is adding 6. So when I add 6, I will land on 873.
let's try a subtraction problem. With the addition problems, we are going from left to right. That's for subtraction. Addition. For subtraction, we're going from right to left. So I'm going to have 1,237 take away 453. In this case, our number line must start at 1,237. And I put that on the right-hand side because it is subtraction. If I partition this 453, I'm going to go 400 plus 50 plus 3. That's partitioning that number. Because it is subtraction, we need to say 400 minus 50 minus 3 because we're subtracting that from 1,237. So let's do our jumps. I'm going to subtract 400 first, and I will land on 837. I'm going, then going to subtract 50, so 837 minus 50, I land on eight, 787. I'm then taking away 3, and I'm landing on 784. That is just one way that I can do this particular subtraction problem. If I have the same number line and I want to partition my numbers even more, I start at 1,237. I'll take away 100 to land on 1,137. Take away another 100. 1,037. Take away one, another 100, 937, and one final 100, 837. Again, I can take away a big group of 50, or I can go 10, so 5 groups of 10. Minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. So the first jump will land on 827. Then 817, 807, 797, 787. Then I'll take away three smaller jumps landing on 784. One last problem. Sometimes you have to add or take away more than two numbers. So if I'm adding 1,423 plus 561 plus 47, I will start at the larger number. That's where my number line will start. I will then have to partition these next two numbers. So we have 500 plus 60 plus 1 and 40 plus 7. It is up to you if you would like to do the hundreds first, then the tens, then the ones. So I'm going to start at 1,423. When I add 500, I'm landing on 1,923. I then add 60, landing on 1,983, and then I'm adding 1, so I'm landing on 1,984. Then add 40, 2,024, and then I add 7, 2,031. Again, that's just one way to solve this problem. Same problem, same numbers, just a different way to do it. 1,423. I'm going to do the hundreds first. So I'm going to add 500, 
landing on 1,923. I am now going to add the tens. I'm going to go plus 60, then plus 40. So from here, I will land on 1,983. Then when I add 40, I'm going to go 2,023. I now I'm going to add the ones. So plus one, plus seven, I now land on 2,031. Same problem, just a different way to solve it. Please feel free to subscribe to my channels if you like this video. And this video was created using Explain Everything on iPad.